Hello everyone, we all know that uh, if we want to practice communication, it's very much important that we need to sit for conversation. So today, I will call some of you to come here and make a conversation for 5 minutes. Okay. Each group will get 5 minutes for the conversation. Okay. And you have to come here. So, let's start it. Previously, you said uh, that as you are introvert or sensitive person, uh, you always specific about what is first thing is first. So, uh, please uh, specifically mention what you really do when, uh, uh, when you feel depressed like that. So, uh, there was a time when I used to uh, put myself in last. I have to think about everyone. But now I have cleared everything and I would prefer myself first and I would think what is good for me and what is good for my mental health yes. and uh, what will uh, help me to have a bright future. Uh, uh, what I can, uh, how can I be an independent woman? Uh, so I like uh, whenever I feel low or feel depressed or everything, I uh, I am listening to music. I I I am passionate about content writing, so I am also writing over a book. So I give my all time to the book, so everyone can uh, get motivation from my life and become successful in their own life. So this is how I deal with my depression and what about you? Um, for me, uh, when I feel depressed or frustration, I'm like, I can't find anything what I really need to do, but I, I uh, always try to learn that, uh, you know, me is my first priority. Uh, it's it's really crucial what I learned through my journey in my life and I believe that life is a test um, you know where you have fun you will feel good but there you also feel sad like that so never think about uh, your previous feelings or your sadness go ahead and yeah let's enjoy your life I think yes. that's great. And um, for me, and uh, what I now believe that in next time, depression is a next pandemic. So yes. I'm not alone. Because of this Gen Z. Yes. I'm not alone. Everybody faced it. So yeah, it's really my, it's really hits me like a motivation for me. So I, I feel really great for that. So. Even in reports, uh, it uh, became that Gen Z's are the uh, the generation where uh, most of the people have depressions. Yes. Because of they don't know how to deal with it. Yes, it's a main problem. And right? they overthink a lot. Yeah, yeah. I when I feel that I, I'm I'm overthinking on a topic like that, it's my problem that I, I'm not able to come back from the situation. It's it's really hard time for me. I feel like that. And uh, I feel that when days goes on, like uh, after the evening, I think it's really so much hard for me to deal with my frustration or my uh, depression. So I really love to wake up early in the morning because on that time I feel so much energy yes. like that. I can work so well. So uh, you know, in a day, in which time you feel so much energetic or positive? Nice. I am also an early person, uh, so um, I love to do things uh, early in the morning that because uh, the nature is so smoothing yeah. and everything is silent, everything gives you peace. So you can do everything in the morning. Um, so I prefer doing things in the morning and I feel low a bit uh, maybe in the night yeah. because that's when the overthinking comes. I think it's comes. depression zone. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. But... Uh, uh, what do you uh, prefer? Uh, like you love to stay alone or with people? It depends on the people who are, who are with whom I am yeah. and it depends on my mood. If I am in a good mood, I am okay with everyone and I am okay to have conversation with everyone. But if I have a bad mood, I would prefer to be alone and do the things that will help me to come out of that situation. Yeah. You should talk right. to people who give you Positive energy, not yes. negative energy. Yes, this really affects a lot. And uh, do you have uh, any situation like that? Uh, you, um, you know, uh, you love 
or love to communicate with a person but somehow you get some negative energy or negative talk <coughs> with them like that and you feel bad whenever i connect with someone i at first see if they are giving some positive energies or else i would avoid them maybe i can have a fight with people i know yeah but that's okay everything is fine in a life we have one life we should experience everything yeah that's great and okay thank you thank you very good uh, so how are you i'm fine what about you i'm also doing good do you have uh, any bad memory or like you have a um, bad memory with a person you don't ha want to have a bad memory with yes uh, i have but i prefer to remember the good memories rather than the bad memories got it also just give you pain nothing else yes. what about you me too but um, <clears throat> just because i am a sensitive person uh, sometimes it hurts but it's okay and how you deal with this uh, as i said i do i prefer to do things that uh, help me to don't think about others and think about myself so what is your source of positive uh, positive uh, energy i love reading books um uh, i love fictional world i think that fiction is more suitable than reality because in reality people don't like to uh, take yourself how you are they think that everyone needs to be perfect everyone needs to be good but that's not in fictional world you can be whatever you want so i love reading fictional books that's what i do and it also help us to dive into the uh yes. another world yes and it also uh it also improves your imagination power ever you feel uh, any much uh, addiction toward any book yes i started a twisted series and i started with love and ended with game uh, they have three uh, three series um, three books uh, twisted love twisted games twisted hates and twisted life sorry four so i started uh, i finished the uh, whole four books in two days because i was so connected and my favorite one is twisted games uh, so that's one uh, do uh, did you read any book yes um, i also read book and uh, i think uh, i used to have that much uh, addiction towards the book that my mom used to scold me because i uh, just uh, uh, leave everything and uh, started to read books that's why uh, before my examination my mom uh, took the books from me and locked it i also forgot to sleep i uh, wake up for a long time in night and read the books and i think it's uh, very much common in the book lovers yes readers and uh, do you uh, know the bookstagram hmm? no uh, or oh, do you have any social media yes i have uh, i have a facebook uh, instagram but i am not that much active i just mm. go there to watch when i want to refresh my mind okay so um, what do you prefer facebook or instagram mm. instagram because uh, i i think i am that's uh, more relatable yes what what about you me too and what is your favorite app in phone uh whatsapp you know it whatsapp because uh, same thing i am a reader i love to read and i have also written a story there oh and i got 1000 likes oh my god not much but congratulation <laughs> and Thank for you. your upcoming Thank projects you. and you are uh, into in content writing in this uh, so who is your inspiration in your family they wanted me to be a doctor but my father said if you want to write uh, and um, want to write poetry and all uh, you can do it but as, at least have a stable job so you don't have to think about the future uh, so my dad said uh, you can do it uh, but at least do the doctor course